Hi everyone, my name is Emmanuel and in this video I'm going to be answering a question that I've been getting a lot lately and it's what is WP Jelly? So there's a new website that uh, helps you build WordPress websites for free and it's called WP Jelly and I've been getting a lot of questions about it and how it works and in this video I'm going to explain to you everything about WP Jelly, how to use it uh, and how it works and how you can use it to build your WordPress website. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we are, this is the WP Jelly website, which is WPJELLY.com. And it is a website that lets you try and design and create your own WordPress website for free. Now, you might think, well, I've seen uh, that you can get WordPress for free already. So how is this different than the regular WordPress? Well, to use WordPress, especially if you go through WordPress.com or a hosting company, you have to pay first. And especially if you use WordPress.com, if you go here to plans and pricing, you'll see that uh, the plans, nothing is free. Uh, it's actually kind of expensive compared to even other hostings like Bluehost, HostGator, and GoDaddy. And these plans, like the personal and the premium, you really can't do anything with them. You have to go all the way to the business plan to get plugins and themes. So you can't actually even really use uh, WordPress unless you have this plan. So it's uh, $25 a month for a year is $300. And if you want to add a shop, you have to pay even more. So with WP Jelly, you don't have to buy this. When, uh, when you're done designing your website for free, you can transfer it out to another hosting like HostGator, Bluehost, GoDaddy, uh, which is significantly cheaper. Most hosting companies charge you five to ten dollars uh, per month, and usually um, they have introductory prices that are really cheap. Uh, they're not three hundred dollars just for to be able to use WordPress. So that's the first good thing about WP Jelly. It lets you make your website for free, no money up front. Before you always had to buy a domain, you had to buy hosting, and then you could install WordPress. With WP Jelly. You can work on WordPress first, learn WordPress, practice, try a few designs, and once you're happy, then you go and you buy your domain and hosting with whoever you want. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that because you're using WordPress, you're not stuck with a, with a template that you can't really change. So for example, Squarespace is really popular and I'm sure they have a lot of nice things, but it's kind of limited. You have a couple of templates that you can choose from, but you know, you can only change what you can change. And if something doesn't fit you, it's kind of hard to make it be whatever you want. The same thing happens with Wix, where you can kind of design stuff and you know, it's a little bit easier to use, but you can only design within what they've created. They do allow you to add some custom code, but then you need to know programming, which many people don't do. The great thing about uh, WP Jelly is that you're using WordPress. So you can design anything you want, any kind of website, there's really no limit. Uh, giant corporations like uh, Best Buy and UPS, uh, they use WordPress as well. So if they can use it, um, then you know that it's a reliable uh, development place. The bad thing with Square and Wix is that uh, if you grow your audience on those websites and you ever need to transfer out for any reason, I know especially with Wix, you actually cannot transfer out your design or your information. So it's really complicated. Uh, at least from uh, as soon as they're recording this video, they don't let you do that. So with WP Jelly, uh, the way it works is instead of having to configure and set up and do all those settings, uh, WordPress is already set up and configured for all these templates. And these templates are just kind of like to help you get started, but they don't really matter because you can change them into anything you want. So if I grab this template and I want it to turn this into to look exactly the same as the Apple website, you could literally turn this uh, so that it would look exactly the same as the Apple website. Um, this is just kind of like a starting ground, but you can change it to uh, whatever way you want. The same thing goes for um, any of these. So for example, if I chose uh, this one right here, which is like a burger website, I could change this and edit everything and turn it into uh, like the Apple website. Uh, you could design it in whichever way you want. You see here, there's this kind of menu uh, and there's lots of other different kinds of designs. But all of these designs are both are all made with WordPress and made with uh, Elementor. So you could create any of these or create your own from scratch as well. You're not limited to just these templates. You can you could literally pick one of these, delete all of it, and then uh, build something from scratch.
and you don't have to pay extra. Well, actually with WP Jelly, you don't have to pay anything at all. But even after you transfer it out, uh, if you want to add more stuff, you don't have to pay extra to do that once you're on your hosting. So it's free forever. The way it works is you design your website on WP Jelly for free. Then you go, you get your domain and your hosting from whoever you want. Then you transfer your design from WP Jelly to your own domain and your hosting. I uh, have a video on how to do that. It's, it'll be linked in the description. Um, and that's it, you're done. So it's a free service that you can use. Uh, they have these templates here to help you get started. But if you just wanna learn WordPress, you can skip the template and then just do something yourself if you want to. Well, I wanted to make that video just to cover what WP Jelly is and how it works. I hope this video helped you. If you have any question, leave it in the comments down below. Remember to subscribe for more videos like this and have an excellent day.